Okay, today we're going to be customizing the lead status field. And as you can see, Salesforce comes with a couple values already in the lead status field. However, we need to put the stages of our sales funnel in the lead status field. This way we can tell where the lead is at, what stage it's at. We can also see where things are getting held up and so forth. I like to plan out all the stages of the sales funnel in advance. So I like to use a spreadsheet so I can keep everything organized and rearrange it before I actually do my customization inside of Salesforce. Okay, here's a spreadsheet that I like to use. Notice that the lead stages are broken out into three different areas. First we have the leads, then the prospects, and then the customers. Today we're only going to be dealing with the first section, the leads. Let me also add here that if you're not familiar with how Salesforce handles a lead versus a prospect versus a customer, or if you're not familiar with the, with the right timing on when to convert a lead, then shoot me an email requesting the lead status spreadsheet that I have, and I'll be happy to send that to you. It also has uh, instructions on how to break that apart properly, how Salesforce expects you to, and that'll just help your whole process go a lot smoother. Okay, we'll be coming back to this in a little bit. So for now, let's go ahead and let's edit the lead status field. Okay, you'll notice that I'm on the lead project. And I like to start by opening up a new lead. And that way I get a clean sheet to do my edits on. Notice our lead status field just has those default values. Okay, let's go view the lead status field. Okay, here's our default values. I'm going to go ahead and create some more values here by clicking on New. And now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste out of the spreadsheet. Notice I'm just copying the lead section. And then I'll go ahead and I'll paste all that into here at once so I don't have to type it all out and, and it's that easy, it's done. So now I can go ahead and save. Now I'll go back to our user interface, and I need to refresh so that we can see the difference here. I'll drop down the lead status field, and there everything is, but we don't quite ever have everything in the right order. So I'm going to go back here and look at my order and see what converts. Right now it's closed one will convert the lead. Well, I want to do it when set demo appointment happens. So now that will actually convert the lead. There we go. Yeah, so I can go ahead and I can get rid of the closed one because I'm not going to use that. All right, so there we go. Now just I want to rearrange the order here. Let's see, closed loss needs to be in a different order. So I'm going to put that down bottom here. There we go. Now it's in the proper chronological order. That's simple. So let me go ahead and go back here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. And now let's take a look. Okay, everything looks great. It's in the right chronological order. And now set demo appointment is actually the value that will convert a lead. Need Salesforce help? With screen sharing technology, we can see what you see. Need Salesforce customized to fit your organization? We offer out-of-the-box solutions for your industry.